Peace, peace, family. This video right here is about colors. Um, and the characteristics that they, um, hold within whatever the physical object it is carrying them. But this can't be true according to the universe because everything that's black in nature is of the most high. You can't plant seeds in soil unless it's black. Unless it's black, it's not rich soil. The universe is black. The universe manifests all life. So the color black is actually a divine color, which means growth. Not death and evil, but when we get to the color white, hmm, let's see the properties of the color white. Everything in nature that's white is bad for you. White bread, white sugar, but the main thing I'm going to deal with today is snow, wintertime. Why? Because even in nature, the pausing of life is signified by the color white. When all vegetation and life stops, guess what the color is of the season that has caused all life and growth to stop? White. Why the fuck snow ain't brown? Why the fuck snow ain't black? Because nature understood. Nature is driven by the creator. And the creator warned us through colors what foods to eat and what not to eat. What to touch and what not to touch. We knew the color white actually rejects light. Black absorbs light. This is why when you wear a black shirt in the summertime, your shirt be hot. And when you're a white shirt, it don't. The color white actually reflects sunlight. So why is this important? Sun, act, the sun, the rays of the sun actually carry information and intelligence. So the sun is created directly from the creator. Whether you believe in God, Allah, Jehovah, whatever. It is an undeniable fact that the sun emits intelligence which is fed through the skin. So black skin and melanin absorbs and digests this information. White pale skins of Caucasians actually reject this information. And this is why they get cancer because their body is not absorbing the, the rays of the sun properly. They reject the light of God. So... Not only are their pale white skin unnatural and rejecting, not just not absorbing, but literally rejecting the literal light of the sun and the intelligence the sun has for all things that are supposed to be here naturally, but the color white in nature is signified as something negative. When the winter time comes, it comes in a mass and it settles, and whenever you let a whole bunch of white snow settle, all growth of vegetation stops. Hmm, let's see the history of the Caucasian. Every time a mass amount of pale skinned Caucasoids settle on some rich green fertile land, aka Africa, all fucking life has stopped. It once something um once a soul inhabits a body, the soul just like water is formless, but yet that body is subjected to a law. Even the color of that body is very important. Because the color of this body, people keep trying to say, oh melanin is just a skin pigmentation, it's a color. No, it's not. Melanin actually absorbs sound frequency as well as sunlight and gets natural divine intelligence from the creator. The color white does not. So why is this important? The Caucasian race, their, 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 their total being and existence in a physical shell rejects that which comes directly from God. And they slaughter and pillage everywhere they go. Why? Because they're subjected to the law of being white. Just like snow stops all life. And if you think I'm making this up, like I always tell y'all, go do your research. Go right now and research, does the color white reflect light? And then research melanin and type in, does non-melanated or pale white skin people skin reject the light of the sun? And then after you get your confirmation of yes, research, does the sunlight actually carry information that is um, analyzed through the DNA and fed to the body. Just like how plants receive information from sunlight, our bodies receive it. Caucasians reject this information. So getting back on point, why does their bodies reject this information? Because they're subjected to the law of what it is of anything that's white. Anything that is white is signified as death and destruction. If you can show me anything today that people are eating in America that's white, that's good for them, opposed to shit that's white, that's bad for them. Such as sugar, in white bread, life is getting ready to stop. When you get parasites and maggots in your body, your life is getting ready to stop. When you keep eating sugar, your teeth life is getting ready to stop. Okay? White bread, all that, you destroying physical life. When the snow settles, veg vegetation life is getting ready to stop. So what does that tell us about the white man? When he settles, has life not always stopped when his ass settled? So now getting back on my point about colors. Colors have distinct functions and, and, and characteristics that they carry. So everything in nature is in synchronization. 
We just out of tune because we let the Caucasian take us from seeing God in ourselves. But with that being said, y'all, start studying colors and just paying attention to every time something happened, what color did it happen in? And what is the outcome? Certain colors signify certain manifestations. This all has to do with rituals. This all has to do with manifestation. This all has to do with all that type of stuff, y'all. We got to get back in tune with our intelligence and with our power. They're not going to teach you this in school. They're not going to teach you this nowhere on the planet Earth that is owned by a Caucasian. We have to get back into our ancestral roots. And with that being said, y'all, do the research for yourself. And with that being said, y'all, get back in tune. Get back on the God frequency and and vibrate there and, and stay there permanently because that's the only level we're going to win at. That's our field. We gods, we must fight on the God plane, not on the animal plane. Peace.